Well, he was just sitting in his car when a man walked up to his window and killed him in cold blood. And this uh, video shows the shooting. This happened outside a popular restaurant at the corner of Franklin and Joseph Campo near Shane Park. Jason Colthorpe live now with the investigation and what we've learned so far about this shooter. Jason. And Devin, normally this corner is a lot busier outside, they say, this uh, popular Detroit restaurant. And it was the surveillance video on the outside of its wall here that was pointed right here on Franklin Street and saw a white Mercedes with a man standing there talking to it right before the shooting happened. Now Detroit police going frame by frame through that video looking for leads to find out who's behind what appears to be a targeted murder. Not just a killing, but an execution on Franklin Street just outside a trendy Detroit restaurant near the river. Notice the red tape hiding the license plate on this older model black Dodge Charger. You know, it is suspicious on that, but right now, as you know, you know, everything is preliminary at this point. Police now searching for that car and the man who jumps out and fires at least 13 shots, killing the driver. Well, this is a very, very nice uh, neighborhood. Uh, the residents are very cooperative, and we have all of our establishments here, and we really want people to reach out. This is a very unfortunate situation here, and we want to correct the problem. But what about the other man in the video? We're told he is the victim's cousin. He runs off without getting shot. Police tell me he was questioned, but not taken into custody. This was the man behind the wheel, according to his friends and family, who were devastated as they arrived at the scene. Very nice young man. He went to high school with my son. They were best friends. That's all I can tell you. I don't know what, why. He's like my son. His friends say he was 30 years old and recently married. He survived by his wife and their two young children. It's just too close to home. It's unbelievable. Where, do, where does it stop at? The victim, friends tell me, out here on the scene today was just about three days away from reporting to serve a prison sentence. They didn't say for how long or for what it was for or if it might be related to this shooting. But police need people's help. They're asking you to call 1-800-SPEAK-UP if you know anything about this shocking killing in broad daylight. We're live on the east side. Jason Coulthard, Local 4. All right, Jason.